So I was gonna make an introduction in this video, but uh, kinda learned that nobody really likes introductions. I got a dispatch call about an hour ago saying that this truck needed a, uh, a hub seal. Uh, realistically, it only needs a flange gasket from what I see. Uh, there's no oil or wetness on the inside of the tires. So, how we're gonna do this is, and you can see I kinda got started. Uh, you're gonna remove these eight 15 sixteenths nuts. So we'll go ahead and finish them off. Throw them on my rag. I would advise wearing gloves for this because it is a very messy job. Now, on some trucks or some trailers, it's a little bit different. They got locking washers in here and you have to take a chisel and pop those out. Luckily with this truck, I'm working on a 2020 uh, F650. It does not have those. So we should be able just to pull the, uh, the axle slap out. But do remember on these F650s, you have to release the emergency brake on it to be able to pull the axle out. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, let me, move my light here we're gonna go ahead and uh proceed with moving this axle out let all that oil drain into that rag there roll some of this out so i can put that axle on here don't want it getting damaged pull our axle out. Our spline's look in very, very good shape. You can tell they got minimal wear on them, but they're in good shape. Go ahead and clean the rest of that oil out, and then I'm gonna put a flange gasket on it. Get some of that old gasket removed there. All right, well, I know I got a pretty damn good mess out here. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm letting the rest of that oil drain out. Might as well do a fluid flush while we're at it. I know that right there ain't gonna make too many people happy, but really don't care. Gonna go ahead and slap that new gasket on and put this axle back in, move the truck up a little bit and fill it up, fill it up with a hub oil. Also got another, uh, got another dispatch call to do another one. Same exact kind of thing, same exact kind of truck on the uh, same lot, so should bring in a little bit of dough. I'll catch up with y'all in a minute. So we just got that axle back in. And uh, people like to run these down with the impact. I recommend you uh, actually use a torque wrench or you're gonna kill that gasket. So, uh, look at the torque specs on this truck. They're showing me 70 foot pounds of torque. So that's exactly what I'm gonna run. Also on these studs, I'm gonna throw a little bit of blue Loctite on it just to keep it at that same torque spec. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move on to that next truck and get it done after I get this wheel cleaned up. On side of the uh, hub and rotor assembly, you're gonna have a, uh, it's gonna be a quarter, quarter inch Allen head. And uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull that off and you're gonna fill it with hub oil until it gets dead even with the, uh, with the, with the hole. So right there, there's that hole. Yes, I put a gasket and gasket maker on it. Leave me alone. There's that hole right there. Pull that out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fill it with hub oil until it uh, gets dead even with that hole right there. So here we are on another truck, budget. And uh, it's honestly the same exact thing as we just did over there. It don't even look like there's even a flange gasket in there. So that's a good sign. The hub oil smells like a garbage truck. 
but we're gonna get that pulled apart and uh, put a new flange gasket in it, get everything cleaned up. I'll get back with you. So it's gonna be the same thing over here. We're gonna pull all eight of these 15, 16 nuts off. Once again, there is no lot washers on them. So that's good. Wonderful. I'm gonna put some rags down. So whatever holes left in there, at least get on this rag. And uh, it turns out there is no oil. So uh, that's wonderful. Shocked that axle didn't burn slap up. Axle seems to be in fairly good condition. There is no heat scorching marks on it. All the threads look really good. There is no metal on it, so we'll proceed on with the process. There was absolutely no gasket on here. So it looks like somebody tore this truck apart at one point. I really don't know what the hell happened. Got rid of the uh, gasket and slapped the axle back in. So that was the whole reason of it leaking right there. There was absolutely no gasket on this truck whatsoever. So uh, I'm gonna slap the gasket in it and put the axle back in. got that back in I'm gonna uh, throw some throw some red lot type back on that stud and ram it back through that hole and uh, see what we got all right so I got some red lot tight on that one nut or that one stud I should say got it ran back in there so hopefully the next mechanic that comes out here if this ever has to get done again which I'm sure will uh, won't have the same issue I just had so right now I'm just threading on the uh, the rest of the nuts here. I'm gonna get them ran down a little bit with ease with the impact. And then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna like, come back with my torque wrench, get them back at 70 foot pounds. get those ran down with a torque wrench and then uh, I'm gonna clean up this wheel right here because it's got a bunch of oil residue on it fill it back up with hub oil and then uh, we'll go from there so we'll call that a job well done um, I didn't get paid to detail this vehicle so I just wiped up the excess oil got it filled back up with hub oil got them uh, got them nuts torqued down to 70 foot pounds and like I said, on these F650 and F750 uh, trucks, especially the 2020s to 2023s, um, you have to release that parking brake and then put the truck in neutral to be able to pull these axle shafts out. So went ahead and pulled that parking brake back up, threw the truck back in park, and uh, took some pictures and got it invoiced already. So uh, right now we'll wait for the next call and see what I get. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned for the next.